Hi everybody. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today we've decided to do a video update on the Johnny Cash property here in Hendersonville, Tennessee, which is a suburb of Nashville. We're 14, 15 miles north of Nashville and it's a beautiful property as you're going to see. We did a video uh, about this maybe almost a year ago. And we thought it was time to update and it does look like there's new construction. Anyway, here we go. We'll show you the beautiful view. This is the uh, south end of the property. It's a large, it's a large piece of land. And as you can see, it's right on Old Hickory Lake. Just a beautiful place. And we're gonna walk, walk the edge of the property on the street here and just show you as we go. Okay. And as you can see, it's beautiful stone wall the whole length of the property, which is probably two football fields long. It's, it's amazing. And what a beautiful day to be out here. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. Remember when we used to be in our boat, when the house was still here? Yeah, we could see the house. We could from see the, the house. And, and uh, you know, occasionally you can drive, you could drive by here and see Johnny and June. Mm -hmm outside in the on their property walking yeah. around. And um, again as I said uh, there's construction going on. We're not sure the house is the property has changed owners uh, I think four times since uh, Johnny Cash's passing. Uh, Barry Gibb of the Bee Gees bought the property in 2005 and was having it renovated. Well, something happened that it caught fire and burned down. So Barry sold the property in 2007 to uh, an investor in Texas. And then the last we've known about it is that investor sold it to some individuals here from Hendersonville. And it looks like uh, they're doing some construction. We'll get to that just up, up the way here. That fire was caused by one of the workers. Uh, they were working with like a, a varnish or something and they may have been smoking or something and then it caught fire. Yeah, it was a, a very high flammable chemical yeah. that they were putting on the finish. It was a natural wood finish house and during the renovation, something happened and the, it destroyed it. it. It looks now um, let's, let's get up to the gate here. Okay. And this is actually where the house sit, where you see that telephone pole was a big part of where the house sit. Now it looks like they built a little pool house that you can't really see unless you get up here at the gate. I love this rock fence. Yeah, there's uh looks like they're doing some stone work. You can see the cement mixer that's back there and down where the pool set. And I actually hear water running. So Looks like they're working on the place. And uh, of course that was the that, drive to their house right there. That was the pool area right yeah. there. And that actually, uh, and there's another the little building down here as we go. Okay. And we must be careful walking because it's uh, Yeah, it's it's pretty uh, it's <laughs> uneven. It's yeah. You know, over time, it is mm -hmm. weather. And it's amazing when the property's not really kept up. It doesn't take long, it's, does it? No, it's. Um, I mean, you know, when you don't have anybody living here, it's you know difficult too. Is this is the water meter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's the water meter. <laughs> 
this is the guard shack we're coming up on to right here. Um, yeah. And to my knowledge, I don't think there was ever really a guard in that in that building. Maybe, maybe at first. Um, and the cash home. This plaque is pretty interesting. Referred to as Nature's House, builder Braxton Dixon designed the cash home. Rugged beauty existed with open rafters, barn boards, and a wall of native limestone. The 14,000 square foot home overlooked Old Hickory Lake, which we just showed you, with a panoramic view and gardens that stretched across the property. Here, Johnny and June Carter Cash entertained family, friends, and neighbors for 35 years. The Cash Home also served as a retreat for fellow musicians to gather and compose music with one another until the 2003 deaths of Johnny and June Carter Cash. Beautiful plaque. Yes. It's nice that they're playing uh, homage and honoring who lived here. You know, this is what's going on. Of course, the house is gone, and uh, so that's a little bit of what we can see. Let's let's move on around to the uh, north side of the property. And at, at one time, this this place was beautiful out front. I mean, there was mm -hmm. uh, huge gas lights on the flower beds and the arrangements. And there are pictures of Johnny Cash standing right down, right here, down here by this tree. Which tree? Um, well, the tree here on the right. And like this one right in this area, right um, there are photos of Johnny standing in that area for album covers and stuff. And this is a shot of the stonework that uh, you were seeing on the plaque. The house stood up on all that stone. And if you ever saw the movie uh, about Johnny Cash, I think it was uh, Joaquin Phoenix played Johnny in the movie about his life. You'll see these panoramic views in that movie. And you'll, uh, there, there's a, there's a scene in the movie where Johnny Cash runs a tractor into a tree and this is where it happened, right? Right here below this little pool house here. Like right, right on this side on or the on the other side? On the other side of the little house. And, uh, in the movie, you can see all that stuff. It's really amazing uh, to compare the movie to the actual place. Yeah. So we'll continue north to the property. I can see that they put a dock down there and I hear people down there. And they may have come up on a boat. You know what I mean? Come up by boat on the lake. Yeah, you can see the dock down there. Yeah. There. So, continuing north on the property now. And the street runs adjacent to the property. So, so we're not trespassing or doing yeah. anything uh, illegal. Yeah. It's a big piece of property, isn't oh, it's it? Just Stone wall, the stone wall just goes on forever. That's yeah, that's so impressive with the railroad ties. Mm -hmm. So we're continuing north on the property again, as I say. Another wrought iron gate that's about to fall down. Yeah. And this is kind of a neat view of, yeah. of looking back towards where the house actually was. Let's 
see up in there where the house was and then that's the garage okay it's a beautiful large piece watch out for that wasp baby i know hi there filler look at these large pieces of flat rock to make this limestone it's awesome um walking this property is um akin to taking going on a small hike i mean it's, <laughs> it's a large piece yeah. of property and i guess you can tell by the video we're going uphill now and this is real easy access from gallatin road here in hendersonville maybe not even three minutes off the main road you can see the fence is it's a little bit in disarray deteriorating. Watch out, there's a yellow jacket right there. Yeah, they're everywhere. Let's keep moving. This is more of the same, more of the same. And there's the beautiful rose garden, rock garden that they talk about was like their favorite place to go. It looks like someone is, is maintaining it. That's so. Good. So there is an apple orchard that we're coming up to on the very north end of the property. That uh, was promised to be kept intact by Marty Stewart and uh, Roy ever since we have a... So somebody's up doing something right here. <laughs> Restoring the orchard, that flat. Y'all can pause that. Yeah, you can pause it. To read it. Okay. Here's here's the important black. The orchard. This pristine site overlooking Old Hickory Lake had its roots in tragedy. In 1968, Johnny Cash's good friend Roy Orbison sold him the land after fire destroyed his home and took two of his three sons' lives. Cash promised Orbison never to build on the site when the abundant fruit trees and grapevines that flourished were maintained personally by the Cash family. The orchard came to fruition. And it's still an orchard today. I don't see much fruit bearing going on, but I, I'm sure there is. And uh, so there, now, if you'll turn your attention to just across the street, that is Johnny Cash's mother's home. Mother's home. Um, and as we know that that was the pinnacle for family gatherings was Johnny Cash's mother's kitchen. And uh, the home hasn't really changed much since then. Should we walk? Mm -hmm. I'll keep an eye on you. And, okay. And uh, the gentleman lives there now. Restored the home to its original state inside and out. And it is unbelievable. Occasionally he'll invite people in to see it. Um, it was an intensive, probably a million dollars to restore the inside. I know it looks simple on the outside, but on the inside, there's all these geometrical angles and configurations of how the house is built. It's just gorgeous inside. And there are other videos out there. You could probably uh, search YouTube, Johnny Cash's mom's house or mother's home, and it would show you the inside. Some people have been in it, yes. but we don't like to bother folks. And, yeah. Uh, but it's a gorgeous property. And actually, 
the big tree right there. Johnny Cash's dad planted that tree. Uh, let's see which, this one right here. Yeah, the, the big one. Look and see if that's the one you're talking about. It is, yeah. it is okay. indeed. center screen. Yeah, and I think there's a story behind that. Um, But as you can see, it's a, it's a beautiful area. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there's a couple is. other beautiful homes just across the way. And we just wanted to update our, our friends that have been following our last video to see if there's anything new. And there's really not nothing earth shattering new. Yeah. <clears throat> but we do hear construction mm -hmm. and uh, see some movement. And so maybe they'll I kept thinking they might restore the place into its net. Somebody would buy it and make a museum out of it because it's just gorgeous and it would be a beautiful place for picnics and yes, if they could open it up as a park or something. Yeah, I know a few years ago that, uh, several years ago, they had talk of turning this into some sort of business or something. What was it they were wanting? But everybody had a fit, you know. I, I don't remember. Uh, I do know there's been rumor of a, like a sanctuary uh -huh. um, of some kind. Well, that would be nice. So it's it's really. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it was a treatment facility or something. Yeah, it could have been. I yeah. think that might have been it. Um, I don't know, but anyway, it sure is a beautiful place. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. And that's just our little update on the Johnny Cash video that we did earlier. And if you go back through our videos and uh, you can see where we visited Johnny and June's grave sites, and we were really uh, respectful about it. And yeah. It's interesting. It's it's interesting. The video got a lot of views and people were curious of how things looked today. Well, we see that there is some construction. It seems to be moving really slow, but there's something yeah. going on. So beautiful. And if you ever come to Nashville, drive to Hendersonville. It's 14 miles and uh, it's worth the drive to come see this and just the views of the lake just the history of it too you know just uh but it is beautiful and this is old hickory lake here that you're seeing so again this is just our update on what's been going on with the johnny cash property and uh he was very respected in this neighborhood. He did a lot of good for a lot of people and uh, just wanted to honor it. And uh, if you go back, like I said, and check our older videos, you'll see a, a pretty in-depth uh, video of their burials and a little more history. But uh, this is the update that folks have been asking about. We sure appreciate you watching and uh, <laughs> People don't care if they make a video. Uh, so we do appreciate everybody's uh, support and watching. Absolutely. We'd appreciate you to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and hit the like button. Um, it means so much to our channel. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Thank really appreciate you, it. Bye bye.